All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the KA-330 Inflatable Space Habitat, which is being made by forum user B-Sync, who has been making quite a few interesting parts recently. And what this particular piece of work is looking to add into the game is a kerbalized version of the BA-330, which is a concept space habitat being designed by Bigelow Aerospace, and much like the Keem mod that B-Sync also released a couple of weeks ago that we did look at, I couldn't be happier with this parts mod, as I do have, as I mentioned in that video, an odd obsession with anything to do with Bigelow Aerospace, so having these parts in the game just makes me happy. So let's jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what this mod does offer us. Now let's grab a Mark 1-2 command pod for size comparison's sake, and then zoom out as this is a pretty large part, and we actually don't need our mod filter today as it is just three parts that do make up this mod and we'll start down here in utility for the main crux of the whole thing the ka330 inflatable space hotel as it's labeled here now this uh, does hold up to three kerbals but needs at least one to operate it does have a built-in data transmitter a reaction wheel a squish mysterious goo science experiment and finally electric charge of 500 and as you can see it's pretty darn big oh my look at it it is great so it's a, a little bit wider than the 2.5 meters of the capsule down here probably at about 3 3.25 or so I don't know the exacts but a nice comfortable width for you to launch on any larger rocket and of course it is an inflatable module so once you do get it in space oh boy you can expand it and this is why I love inflatable parts it's just it's just so wonderful you start with something this size and you get something this size and that is a truly beautiful thing now it does have as you can see here two attachment points on the top and bottom which is preferably for you to put uh, some docking ports onto and is just the right size for the standard uh, clampatron docking ports right here they fit quite nicely up there there we go and uh, yes yeah, so that's it for the main part now we do then have in electrical a custom ka330 solar panel which does go on this part of the whole inflatable there and we can extend it out and as you can see a very nice square solar panel there with a little handle great little thing and will produce a 24.4 electric charge per second at maximum with 100% exposure we also do have a radiator here an active radiator that will require 0.5 electric charge per second and also does go over here and we can expand that and there we go, a nice little angled radiator to disperse all of the heat. And that, that is a wonderful thing. Now, like I said, I'm obsessed with anything Bigelow Aerospace, so having this BA-330 makes me very happy. That plus the key mod that he made a few weeks back, I have a feeling I'm going to use those to build many, many space stations. In fact, as per usual, I do have one in orbit right now, which I actually did go ahead and download the Keem as well, again, which he did release a couple of weeks back. So you can see the scale between the Keem, which is actually really in space, well, I mean, the beam, rather, but our kerbalized version of it here, compared to the size of the full KA-330. It's just gigantic and gorgeous. And thankfully, actually does have an interior view. There we go. We do have the ability to uh, have the interior overlay here and see inside of our KA-330. Now, all three of the Kerbals maximum do sit here at the sort of command station, but they have plenty of room if only they could actually move around 
That would be pretty wonderful. Now, it actually is quite an interesting and large living space, and with that, it has some great compatibility with a lot of the different life support mods. Uh, it is also uh, compatible with the Kerbal Inventory System. It functions as a habitat for USI life support. It can hold snacks and soil for the Snacks mod. It is a comfy room with the Keep Fit mod, and for Finally, with TAC life support, it does have all the basic life support resources. It is also compatible with Tweak Scale, and all of these come with little uh, config file patches that come in the download. And so, yeah, it has a great compatibility with so many other heavily used mods by people. Oh, yeah, and also, I'm looking over my list here, it is compatible with connected living spaces. So, yeah, you can pretty much use this with anything, and it will pretty Pretty much function there and let's take a look at the first person interior of the cockpit there we are now it does use some third-party props from NF props so you will have to download that as a prerequisite and uh, overall though it's a great interior I, I kind of wish that the Kerbals were spread out into some of the other locations like maybe perhaps over at that table so they can ha help themselves to some tea but oh well we do at least have all three Three of them are right here ready and uh, waiting to do what they got to do with the command seat but yes that is the ka330 not a whole lot else to go through with this thing it is overall just an amazing freaking mod i really do like it like with the keem which again we do have right here as you can see that size comparison it is a great inflatable that has a lot of great uses for building space stations with and i'm i'm kind of hoping if you know b sync's already gone ahead and made these two bigelow aerospace parts maybe he'll make more who knows? Maybe, maybe he might make the Genesis one. I think that'd be fun, if he's listening. <laughs> But no, overall, a great mod. If you'd like to give it a try for yourself, which I would definitely recommend that you go and do, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for me today, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next episode, when hopefully we will be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!